There's some fantastic games on Kickstarter over the last month. But here are the five that we like the most. Breaking Bad unearthed the public's pension for underground drug labs, and now Basement is letting you simulate this unlawful fetish by running your own virtual operation. You can house a lab underneath a facade as ironic as a church, and grow and make a variety of drugs from weed to ice. To make drugs you need to hire and pay employers, and with this begins the management style gameplay. There's also strategy, as you extend your basement outwards in rooms much in the manner of XCOM, and decide what drugs should be upgraded and so on. After a while, your operation will attract the attention of authorities ranging from police to FBI, and you may turn to bribes, guards or traps to solve your problems. There's also the fluctuating market which will influence what goods you should be producing. Basement looks a top strategy game that will surely have a positive influence on impressionable youths. Dear Traveller, we have received your message that your vessel has been destroyed and your colleagues have been lost. Your mission is unchanged. Allergy for a Dead World beams from its fresh and exciting identity as a game about writing fiction. The game takes you through three different uncharted worlds, named after prominent romantic poets Shelley, Keats and Byron. In these worlds, you will be prompted to write by words and art in different locations. And as you continue to write, a narrative will form as will your unique understanding of the world. On occasion, there will be new information given midway through writing, and as such provides a puzzle that you must account for with your writing. Additionally, you can share the stories you write, and in turn read other stories, which will show some interesting contrast in perception. Allergy for a Dead World can be seen as a tool to overcome writer's block, a means to begin and explore writing, or perhaps a chance to connect with and process your thoughts and emotions. Regardless, it's a thrilling concept for both writing and gaming. A seemingly innocent town. <laughs> Turns deadly at night. Town of Salem is a souped up version of the popular party game Mafia. For those who are unfamiliar with Mafia, it's a murder mystery game in which everyone is given a secret role and placed into either an empowered minority or an impotent majority. The result is a brilliant game of deception and suspicion. Building on this formula, Town of Salem adds 29 unique roles. Some of our favourites include the Jester, who has the aim of getting themselves killed, and the Janitor, who cleans a dying target of their role, stopping it from being revealed. There are also competing enemy groups in the Mafia, Arsonists, Witch and Serial Killers. It's important to note that Town of Salem is already complete and free to play in your browser right now. The Kickstarter is just to bring it to Steam, mobile devices and more languages. Town of Salem isn't the most pretty or ingenious of games, but it's already become a regular horn of ours and our friends. It's no wonder it's already funded. Hold on to your hats Iron Chef fans, because we have the game for you. In Battle Chef Brigade, the pantry is the wild. As you hunt down monsters for ingredients, prepare wondrous meals with magic, and then serve your effort to the picky judges. It's quite literally the best thing ever. Hunting consists of 2D side scrolling. Precise attacks will land the rarest of meats, and feeding chickens will result in more eggs being laid. Cooking gives you a plethora of options, and creativity to make what you will of your ingredients, and is done so on the clock. The particular taste of the judges will have to be catered for too, with there being diet conscious elves and protein junkie orcs. And for some flavoured icing on top, every character has unique weapons for hunting and spells for cooking. Battle Chef Brigade is a generous and delicious slice of action. Just before the number one game, we wanted to show you how last month's games fared in terms of funding. Flame in the Flood is a journey down a long, snaking and procedurally generated river on a raft made out of bits and pieces. A true river adventure. 
like that in the classic literature such as Huckleberry Finn, and more recently in the film Mud. The world around you is post-societal and survival is the primary objective. Shelter is needed to keep dry and warm, food and supplies maintain health, and the voracious wildlife will hunt you down for their own survival. Crafting from your loot is vital to keeping your makeshift raft afloat. Afflictions such as snake bites, open wounds and fatigue are cured by specific remedies like herbs, bandages or even sleep. Flame in the Flood also employs permadeath, with only what your dog is carrying carried over onto your next life. With an impending flood on the horizon and only your dog for company, Flame in the Flood appears as an enduring and compelling journey down a river. That's it guys, don't forget to tell us your number one game on Kickstarter for October in the comments. Thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on IndieFormer. This is a fantastic game. I ga wasn't ready, Lawrence. He wasn't ready I for wasn't that. ready. Oh! <laughs> I, I can't keep my tongue up. <laughs> this is a fantastic game to kickstart over the last month. But here are five, here are the five. Well, we like the most. But here are the five. The five. <laughs>